Hey, what's up, Sheen team? Welcome back to another video. And today we have a game which I didn't want to record, but I'm going to because I don't like myself. <laughs> no. Welcome to the return to Bloody Nights. This is one of those games which I really like, but I've never played. So here we are. Um... Yeah, let's go with one day. Even though it's Thursday. Hey, Henry. Friday now. Well, Hello. It's good to hear your voice again. How have you been? It's been a bit stressful, to be honest, but just busy with the new animatronic project. It's going really well, and um, I'm excited to finally open up my own restaurant. Okay. I see. Well, we've had a pretty good run with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so far. It's been doing really well. Yeah, I've heard. I'm actually a bit jealous, to be honest. Hmm. I really want my place to be as successful, if not more successful, than Freddy's. I'm sure it will be, William. You've put a lot of work into this. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I really hope so. That's great to hear. I'm sure it'll be a success, but I wanted to talk with you about something important. Sure. What is it? I've been reading about some incidences at other restaurants where animatronics have been malfunctioning and causing harm to visitors. I want to make sure that our establishments are safe for everyone who comes through our doors. And especially yours, too. I understand your concerns. Rest assured, I'm being extremely careful with the programming and engineering of the animatronics. Safety is my top priority. Hmm. I still want you to take your time with the project. Rushing things could lead to mistakes. I promise I won't rush anything. I want this restaurant to be just as perfect as you do, but I do need to move quickly if we're going to open in time. I know, but please keep safety in mind, above all else. I don't want any accidents or injuries to happen. No. I understand, Henry. You can trust me to handle everything properly. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all for now. Just keep me updated on the progress of the project, okay? Will do, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Okay. So, I, I know this isn't based on the FNAF law, obviously. Oh, God, that is terrifying. Yeah, I know this isn't based on the FNAF law or anything. I saw that explicit. Hello there, I'm Waffle Brokey. I don't want to be here. Uh... Fazbear Entertainment, and welcome to Fred Bear's Family Diner, the job of your dreams. <laughs> I don't like this. Because many things are currently happening, and I can't personally be present everywhere, uh -huh. I give you these pre-recorded messages to cover any questions you may have and respond to any incidents that may occur during your night shift adventure. Cool. You might be asking yourself, Waffle, just how difficult is this job? What was in that phone book of a contract I just signed today? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to earn some money? That's right, dough, moolah, greenbacks. All for just sitting and waiting in a well-protected room with a comfortable office chair and a cup of coffee. It's much better than sitting around and not being able to pay your bills, isn't it? And hey, we're not cheap here at Fazbear Entertainment. Mm -hmm. We'll pay you a cool 110 bucks per week, which I know is a lot, so just don't go and spend 110 all of bucks. Like you usually do. We value. I mean, I guess this is back in the day, but still. I want to inform you that our equipment here is very damn expensive. It's is it? Line stuff, and we've had our fair share of knuckleheads trying to break in at night. So you better keep those peepers peeled and glued to that monitor on your desk. Don't mm -hmm. you dare smudge it up, or you'll be cleaning it with your own toothbrush. Cool. If anything happens to our property, then it is your responsibility. Your job here is very important, and if you can finish this week without any problems, you'll be rewarded with a voucher for some of our delicious pizzas. Trust me, it's worth it. Great. All right, listen up, kid. My advice to you is simple. Don't go wandering around unless you have to. If you see well, something or good. someone trying to break in, then it's time to take action. But until then, just sit tight and don't touch anything you don't need to. Mm. If anything goes wrong, we'll know exactly who to blame. Just sit tight, keep your eyes peeled, and don't make me regret hiring you. 
I hope you don't want to be the one responsible for messing things up around here. No. Uh, all right, listen up. We need to talk about your safety, and we need to talk about it now. No, we need to talk about what the fuck I just heard. Fancy video surveillance system that'll let you keep an eye on everything happening in this place. Yep. And when I say everything, I mean everything. No slacking off on the job, or you'll have me. You say everything. There is multiple rooms that do not have a camera. I didn't mean to do this. Oh, that's Sonic. What, what other things you got in here? Or a secret. Speaking of which, do you have insurance? Because once you step foot in this place, you're on your own. Right. Things go south. You're not getting a dime out of me. Oh, cool. one more thing. If you notice your vision getting blurry or your eyes begin to water and burn, don't worry. That's just a side effect of working in this environment. But if I don't think it is. Weak, start worrying and go see your personal doctor. Remember, we're all in this together, and safety comes first. The last thing I wanted to tell you was about the mascots we have here. Uh -huh. We're talking about the real stars of the show. Fred Bear, the singing bear, and his best friend, Spring Bunny, the guitarist. These two have been entertaining children in this town for years, and now they're getting an upgrade. Cool. After we renovated the entire place, we added some great new features, including making them more interactive with our customers and staff during the day. But since we have so much to do and so little time, we decided to test some of the features during your night shift. So if you see them wandering around the pizzeria through the cameras, do yourself a favor and just let those handsome devils go about their business. Here's what you have to do. When those animatronics start lurking near your office, shut the door and keep them out. During the day, those guys will pop up in your office to say hello to the security guard, like they're your best buddy. Let me guess, it's definitely it's during the night. Entertainment, you know. Okay, kid, I gotta go handle my own business now. Huh. I like that. Let's get this night shift started and hope for the best. That, that's a cool design. Hey, like making it muffled when I'm back here. Remember, you could be working in a morgue instead. So have some fun, enjoy the ambience. One's already gone. Most important. Is that him or is that Booster? Alert. I'm saying hello. What's happening on our watch? Do we? No. Good luck, kid. You'll need it. See you tomorrow. Shut up, biscuit. What the? What are they meant to do? Oh no! Go away. Oh, they move. That that's just fun. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, what? It, it didn't. It, no. What? Oh, I, I, I already hate this. I already hate this. Oh, it's uh, the rainbow from Enough World. That's cool. I'm definitely not just looking back here for like little references just to take my mind off whatever the fuck is going on. Oh, he's gone. Go away. Oh, he's going to be here next. Crap. Oh, my God. Is it my door? Is that Bonnie or is that... Yeah, that's Bonnie. That was Bonnie. My bad. That's him right there, isn't it? Right. Cool. Now what? Do I close that preemptively? I assume I do. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, where is Freddy good? Okay. I, I think it's only Bonnie on this night. Is he just gonna sit there? Or is he gonna go back? Oh what what, what what's he doing? Well, that door's closed anyway. Oh no, there's a generator here. Oh no. No. No, I'm not dying this soon. I'm not. I refuse. Bonnie, go back now. Back. Shoo. Scramble. 
eggs, biscuits, something other that you can cook. I don't, I don't know anymore. That door just opened, didn't it? I think I'm good. But I don't see Bonnie anyway. What? Wait. Um, you're not Bonnie. Is that door just closed now? Have I bust the door? Oh no. Oh, Bonnie. What am I meant to do? That door's closed. I could just sit on the cameras and just maybe see if I could see him. I, I don't know where Bonnie is. I think I'm screwed. I survived? Yeah! Okay. Oh, I can actually move it. Hello. Yo, uh, you got any ghosties in ya, buddy? You got anything at all? Anything in your stomach? No? Nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing at all. I think we're good. Right, Tuesday. Here we go. the progress of the new location coming? Hey, Henry. Everything's going well. The animatronics are on track, and I'm confident about meeting our opening date. That's good to hear. However, I need to emphasize that safety is our top priority. And we can't afford any mistakes. Pressure to meet the deadline might cause you to rush things. I understand your concern, but rest assured that safety is always my top priority. I know what I'm doing, and I won't take any unnecessary risks. I hope so, but I've been hearing some worries from others that your methods of work could lead to some problems. They're also worried that your recent divorce might affect your judgement. Hmm. My personal life has nothing to do with my work. As for my methods, they have always worked in the past and will work now. I have everything under control. <laughs> I see. Hmm. Just remember that I'm here to support you and the company. If you need any help or advice, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your offer, but I've got it covered. I'll keep you updated on the progress. Please do. And keep in mind that safety <laughs> comes first. We don't want any injuries or accidents. Of course, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Okay. So, yeah, he's just really trying to emphasize that safety is the main priority. Go away. But yeah, he's not wrong. Safety needs to come first. Hello, it's Waffle Brogy here. And Go away. To your second night on the job. I'm going to call you Waffle. You have everything under control, don't you? That's what I like to see, someone who can handle themselves. I'll keep it short mm. and only tell you what is absolutely necessary. The main two animatronics also have a second functionality that'll blow your mind. Will it? You can actually wear them like a costume. Now, I know what you're thinking. Waffle, that sounds like the greatest thing ever. But yeah. Hold your horses for a second. These newer models aren't quite perfected yet. They've got a bit of a... Well, let's call it a design flaw. Yep. You see, Spring if you're looks. not careful, they could crush your chest, and you'll bleed out until the dawn. Trust me, it's not a pretty picture. Mm. We had an incident with one of our employees not too long ago. Poor guy ended up in a hospital bed with his legs crushed. It's tragic, but informative. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't try it out if you're feeling brave, but just know that if something goes wrong, it's on you. 
Actually, don't even touch them. We're not taking any responsibility here. So if we find you the next morning, dead inside of one of our mascots, don't come crying to us. You were informed, and we are clean. Well, I can't cry if I'm dead, so... Yeah. True. Anyway, a new mascot was added to the cast recently. And not just any mascot, mind you. This, this. one's special. This one? It's solely by one of the founders himself, Henry Emily. Now, I don't know much about it. But what I do know is that it's been causing some trouble. So much so that we had to lock it up in your office. But don't worry, we've got a prize corner set up there, and it's a win-win situation for all of us, right? Mm. Just make sure you keep an eye on that little bugger and put it back in its place if it tries <laughs> to wander off. Okay. We don't want a repeat of that old tale where a puppet crept into a sleeping man's mouth, do we now? But listen, kid, don't worry. We'll get through this. We always do. Just yep. keep an eye on those animatronics and stay out of trouble. And remember, I'm always here for you. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some shut eye. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, ma'am, sure. Bye. Bye. What? Okay, so. I think I wasted power last time. So. I, I, I don't know. I actually don't know how to deal with that. I really don't. This is really weird. Is there a sound cue for the puppet thing, or am I just expected to keep looking back? Oh. Yeah, I think I got really lucky last night. Because... Um... Yeah, I shouldn't have won that. I literally just held the door closed until the door literally didn't work anymore so i think i need to not preemptively close the door but like kind of judge when they're going to come to the door oh man i mean there's no power in this right like it's not like a certain amount i can use my flashlight at all i mean it's already 2 a.m and they haven't moved yet, so I think I'm alright, but I don't know. This this is just what I'm doing, like, what, what, okay, well, I, 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 I shouldn't have jinxed it when I said they weren't moving, because now bloody Bonnie's moved, and I don't want to cry. Ah, <sighs> could you just not move? Huh? You could just not move at all. You could just stay there. You know, that would be brilliant. You know, just sit there and have a seat at the table, eat nothing because I don't want you to eat. I want you to starve and die. I don't think robots can die. The things inside of them can, though. Okay, yeah. He might actually be listening to my advice, which is wise. Okay, this puppet thing hasn't came out yet. I don't think it has a name. I don't think so. I know, unless I'm stupid. Why are you laughing at me then? Bong, 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 bong. Right, where? Okay, well, here he comes. So what was the laughing about? Why are you laughing at me? I know I'm funny, but I didn't even tell the joke yet. I'm not going to tell a joke either, because now you don't deserve it. You preemptively laughed. You don't deserve it. What I do deserve... I need to fuck off. See, now where's he gone? Is he in there? I don't know. He's not at my door.
Okay. Noted. No, not you as well, Freddy. Go away. Oh. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. No, no, Freddy. Go away, please. Don't wave at me. Go away. Go back to your stage, man. You're not meant to move. You're not. Okay, Bonnie's still there. Okay, they're basically in the same room. Cool. Just just hang out. Honestly, what about if I just locked you in there, right? In the same room. Bonnie's already left. That's not even an option. Go away. <sighs> God damn it. Where's Bonnie gone now? Okay, there's Bonnie. There... Oh, hello. What are you? Is that Freddy? No, there's no ears. I think that was an Easter egg. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Oh, Freddy. I really wish you'd go away, buddy. I do. What is that? Oh, I don't like this. I haven't even checked on the puppet thing yet. I accidentally blocked Bonnie. I wasn't even meaning to block Bonnie. But I did it. I'm so proud of myself. And I blocked Freddy. God, aren't I good? Huh? I'm great. I closed the door in cowardliness and somehow come out on top. I'm the best. I'm the worst. Oh. Oh, hello, you little rat. You must have something inside of you because you keep toying with me like you're a child. Huh? What you got inside of you? Or is it your banjo? Is your banjo possessed? Okay. Hello, William. How are you doing today? Here we go. Night three, by the way. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. I wanted to touch base with you about something. I heard that some of the employees saw a preview of the new animatronics design, and they were a bit concerned that they looked a little too scary and robotic. What were your thoughts on that? Mm. Well, I can understand why they might think that. But I assure you, the final project will be much more child-friendly. The employees only saw a work in progress. And we're still fine-tuning the details. I mm. hope you're right, William. We don't need any negative experiences from our young guests. As I mentioned before, I've been studying child psychology to ensure that the animatronics create a positive and safe experience. Okay. I'm confident that we'll achieve that goal. I believe my robots will be the best around. Mm. All right, then. I trust your expertise in this area. On a personal note, how are you holding up with with the uh, divorce proceedings? It's been a difficult time, Henry. I won't lie about that. But I'm doing my best to keep my focus on my work and my children. They're the most important thing to me. Mm. So is Charlotte for me. She's my only family. I just want you to remember that it's okay for you to take some time to yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. Well, you can, you can pour air, uh, but... Recharge. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate your concern. I'll try to take care of myself as well, and my work, too. No problem, William. We'll talk again soon. Take care. You too, Henry.
Okay, so he's building scary ish animatronics. Okay. What are you? Did Spring Bonnie have a disabled younger brother that I don't know about? Greetings, my dear employee. Go away. Congratulations Waffle. on making it to night three. Thanks, I'm gonna die. The fact that you're here listening to me means that you've made a glorious contribution to Fazbear Entertainment. Contributions of the founders strong and my opponent. But... The CEO oh, Bonnie, the no, don't move already. I, I want to listen to my boy for Waffle. Your participation and dedication to this job. Okay. We hope that we can count on you for another week of your excellent service. Unless you've got some big dreams you're chasing after. Yeah. So, tell me, have you seen anything weird the past couple of nights? You know, I want to know every little detail going on in this fine establishment. Yeah, they're moving. If you didn't report nothing this morning, I'll assume everything's all good. Speaking of which, have you ever wondered how this place operates during the day? Not really. Despite all the rumors and investigations, it's actually pretty great. Mm. I mean, I was taking a stroll around here earlier and saw some kids jumping into the ball pit and having a blast. Mm. They even pretended it was a time machine. Kids these days. <laughs> hmm. huh. I tell you, sometimes those kids have more imagination in their pinkies than most adults have in their whole bodies. It's a shame we lose that spark as we get older. But hey, True. that's what Fazbear Entertainment is all about. Bringing a little magic back into our lives, right? And you're a crucial part of making that happen. So keep up the good work. Actually, I have a little something for you in case you're interested in earning an additional twenty dollars. Yeah. We're recording some lines for the instruction tapes regarding the spring lock technology, and I think you'd be perfect for the job. Okay. You've got a great voice, kid. All you have to do is read some text into a recording machine, and I'll make sure you're compensated for your time. Cheers. You're not gonna learn nothing fancy. Just be the voice on the tapes. We want to send them to every pizzeria that uses new spring lock costumes. How cool is that? All right, you'll meet our new assistant. Her name is Karen. She's going to tell you exactly Karen. what to do. Ooh. Great then. Keep up the good work and keep on keeping on. Until next time, stay safe and don't forget to check those cameras. We'll Will do, Chief. Soon. Cool. I'm scared. Because... I'm hearing sounds I don't want to hear. On top of that, I'm seeing things I don't want to see. On top of that, Bonnie's just gone missing. Where, where's he gone? I beg your pardon. What the hell was that? Bro, I didn't even see Bonnie coming. And that's not a joke for the internet to enjoy either. If you get the reference, you get the reference. But what? I didn't even it. Bro. See, I don't. Uh, 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 wow. <sighs> Okay, I see how you play a game. Okay, um, yeah, that was the return to Bloody Nights. Um, will I come back to this game? I don't know. It's only if you guys want it. If you guys really want me to do another episode on this, get this video to five likes, and I'll get, I'll get to Friday. I'll complete Friday if this video gets to five likes. But yeah, Kozowski, you have made a fucking terrifying game. Like, just something about it is so weird. Like, it, it's weird but creepy at the same time, and I love it. Like, the fact that, you know, you've got to be wary checking the doors because you could just get jump scared. And obviously, the fact that they could just yoink you off the cameras like that and just kill you, that is terrifying. Because I was like, well, what's going on here? I didn't flip down the cameras, and then, boom, jump scare. Like, Jesus Christ. But yeah, that was the return to Bloody Nights. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like this video. If you want to see a part two to this, and make sure to subscribe. 
you know, to never miss another video of mine. And plus, we're trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year, hopefully. So, yeah, any support will be appreciated. And, you know, leave a comment, you know, saying what you think about this game. Um, yeah, and just let me know what other games you want me to play next. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hello, bye.